welcome our MBA second semester learners. In our marketing management, we are discussing Unit 12, that is on emerging trends in marketing. This is the part three of the video. First two videos we discuss about green marketing and, and um, say CRM, social marketing, etc. Here in this last video, we shall take up the other two learning objectives and we shall conclude the uh, unit. The two learning objectives that we have taken up, one is the understanding emerging trends in rural and developmental marketing, then understanding the emerging trends in services marketing. Rural marketing, including developmental marketing and services marketing are two important emerging trends of marketing. Say rural and developmental marketing. Rural marketing is basically developmental marketing. There are two aspects. One is the developmental aspect, the other one is the rural consumption related aspects. When rural consumption takes place, means what? Rural income increases. And in order to increase the rural income, we will have to adopt the developmental mechanism. Suppose, for example, the banks. The banks have made massive penetration into the rural areas. The banks which cannot open the branches, the branch network in very remote areas, they have been servicing the rural customers through their banking correspondence model, the business correspondence model. Moreover, the self-help groups, the microfinance institutions, the non-banking finance com companies, all of them are involved. Basically, the banks have initiated credit plus services. It's not only deposit and credit. Credit plus services and they are organizing the rural training centers for small enterprises in terms of extension of forward linkages, backward linkages, backward linkages in terms of having supplies. Suppose the self-help groups have been given the loans by a particular bank. Those self-help groups need the market. So banks will help them through some leading NGOs identifying the markets. Those self-help groups need the supply side. The banks will help them through the rural training centers or maybe the other non-governmental organizations. The farmers clubs are their knowledge centers, credit counseling, educating the semi-urban rural population with respect to minimizing the yield risk in terms of production, say in crop insurance, the different aspects. These are emerging trends as far as rural and developmental marketing is concerned. Self-help group and banking linkage model, it has been a successful microfinance approach. Self-help groups, they will cultivate their own savings behavior. Then they will apply to the loan, uh, apply for a loan to the bank. The bank will give a loan. There will be a ceiling. If the loan is repaid, the bank will give another linkage. Uh, likewise, it goes on. So suppose in our Assam, say Assam Gramin Vikas Bank, they uh, have to uh, have extended a lot of loans to the self-help groups. To that extent, the self-help groups will also have to be fully functional. All these experiments indicate a huge scope for rural, social and developmental marketing in the context of an emerging economy. India lives in villages. So the rural areas upliftment is very, very important. So rural and developmental marketing in the corporate sector also. Dear learners, noted management guru CK Prahlad talk about bottom-up pyramid. Bottom-up pyramid means the persons who are earning less than a dollar per day in those days. So they are at the bottom of the pyramid and he stated that the bottom of the pyramid is a huge marketing opportunity. And here you can see earlier in the rural context, the people did not use shampoo. In today's context, you will see the shampoos are available in each and every rural outlet. Basically, shampoos in the form of sachets. So sick shampoo, velvet shampoo, clinic plus, sun silk, 75 rupees, 1 rupee, 2 rupees, is affordable by each and every one in any household. So means what? Tremendous marketing potential. So real also offers tremendous marketing potential, more especially from the bottom of the pyramid. And the corporate houses just they do not look at the poor as poor, but they look at the poor as beneficial consumers who can provide them marketing opportunities. Likewise, ITC is e shopal the wheat farmers the shrimp farmers or the soybean farmers, they are giving a good price at their doorstep. So they don't have to depend on the middleman. So the corporates are going, or well, say potato farmers, the chips manufacturers or the tomato sauce manufacturers are depending on the tomato producers. 
So these are all things which are taking place in the rural areas. Contract farming is coming likewise. Spices also. That's why the ITC issue of all model I have just discussed. So the government and the private sector need to come together to promote inclusive marketing. Means embracing each and every one in the marketing process. And that is an emerging trend which is happening. Corporates are moving and they are adopting the non-corporate practices and the non-corporates are adopting the corporate practices ultimately to bring each and every one into the developmental fold. Like the example of say ITC Ishopal. Earlier the farmers had to go for distress selling. Now the farmers have the knowledge of the agri, agri inputs. They have the knowledge of agricultural, agricultural production, agro machineries and crop insurance and they can sell their products good quality products to ITC from which right, we can get the acid water like that. So the share of real wallet has been rapidly shifting from food to non-food items. Earlier it was mostly on essential commodities. So the, the one rupee earned by a rural household will be spent maximum on food items. In today's context the new categories are emerging. Suppose the TV rental, mobile rental, private tuition, transportation, ICT, Use internet uses so new categories are emerging because the, these are non-food services so in rural area we also we find an emerging trend in terms of the consumption behavior then rural economy has changed from a slow growth subsistence agriculture economy to a fast growth economy we find lots of migration from rural to urban areas the importance of rural economy can be caused from the fact that nearly 70 percent of india's population as i told india lives in villages 56% of its income, 64% of its expenditure, and 33% of India's savings come from rural area. So that is an important marketing opportunity for the marketers, developmental marketers as well as the corporate marketers. There has been rapid increase in rural literacy levels, improvement in health indicators, increase in per capita expenditure. We find a number of indicators which are showing a positive trend, but at the same time, there are concerns also. So all, all these aspects together, rural and developmental marketing is an emerging phenomenon. That is an important point for the learners to learn. Then another aspect is the services marketing. We all are living in a service economy. It was not so during the time of independence. That was mostly agrarian economy. Manufacturing came in the 1960s, 70s, 80s. 90s onwards, we find the emergence of services. And this has been facilitated by the growth of income and the increasing participation of the uh, women, the workforce, different causes are there. The share of service sector to the gross domestic products of many countries. In developed countries, it is more than 70%, 75%. In our context, it is about 56%, 57%. Yeah, 57% to be precise. So, then 34% of the workforce engaged in this, this tertiary sector. It's a very important sector. And this also reflected in rural economy from farm to non-farm. Means non-farm means the restaurants, etc. Farm means the agricultural workers. Agricultural workers are going to restaurants. So there is a saying say farm, F-A-R-M farm, to F-I-R-M farm, then to fork, F-O-R-K. Fork is the restaurant. Farm is the middleman who will be facilitating the farm producers and the farm is the agricultural producer. So in real markets, services primarily comprise of retail trading. Retail is a very important thing that is an important component of the tertiary sector. Transportation, communication, financial services, banking, healthcare, housing. And we all see right, lots of changes are taking place in all these areas. And then information also. Information in terms of say weather conditions as I have told you, ITC. They provide the weather conditions, they provide the farm, the sale prices of the commodities. Then we find important emerging trends taking place in terms of consumer engagement. Nowadays, consumer relationship management marketers are having and it's most efficiently that by the service, the ICT enabled services. Likewise, in the employees also, the provident fund or say grievance redress sale. In all these aspects, we find the employees are also increasingly involved. Then we all know ATMs, even the bank passbooks, we can get it updated, self-check in airports, self-checkout in hotels, and variety of other activities we find because of the internet, internet. We find investment trading, air ticketing, customization of products 
are all things which are taking place because of the advent of the service economy. So these are the importing trends, emerging trends as far as marketing is concerned. Thank you. Thank you very much.